armed guards on the gate, Parliament's open for business. Security's never been so high at Westminster, and every MP queuing at the barriers knew why. Tony Blair's deputy was looking even grimmer than usual. This debate's a prelude to a new kind of war, and in the Commons, the Prime Minister had no doubt it was justified by what happened on September the 11th. He delivered his verdict of guilt. For myself and all other government ministers who have studied the full information, we have absolutely no doubt that bin Laden and his network were responsible for the attacks on the 11th of September. The Prime Minister said he was handing MPs a file of evidence, sensitive intelligence left out, but enough to show that Osama bin Laden's network was the right target, and with it the Taliban, unless even now they handed over the terrorists. Meanwhile, food and aid was on its way. The Afghan people are not our enemy, for they have our sympathy and they will have our support. Our enemy is Osama bin Laden and the Al-Qaeda network who were responsible for the events of the 11th of September. The Taliban regime must yield them up or become our enemy also. So the military and humanitarian effort were both ready. The war aims clear. The Allies were already in contact with Afghans who might eventually be placed to take over power. The response would be measured, driven by necessity and reason. We will not act for revenge. We will act because we need to, for the protection of our people and our way of life, including confidence in our economy. The threat posed by bin Laden and his terrorism must be eliminated. We act for justice. We act with world opinion behind us. And we have an absolute determination to see justice done and this evil of mass international terrorism confronted and defeated. Then it was the new Tory leader's turn. Ian Duncan Smith had been briefed privately in his new role and his support for the coming conflict in Afghanistan was unqualified. The Prime Minister has shared with me more than perhaps he is able to present here today. And on that basis, I am convinced that Osama bin Laden, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban are guilty as charged. Any war against these people is a just war. But he did more than echo Mr. Blair. He wanted the spotlight turned on Iraq and tougher sanctions against Islamic extremists preaching violence in this country. When Sheikh Omar Bakri Mohammed can claim that the Prime Minister is a legitimate target for assassination if he visits a Muslim country and can make that statement from the safety of this country, we need to review our anti-terrorism laws as a matter of urgency. The Lib Dem leader raised humanitarian fears but remained supportive. The evidence to hand is indeed persuasive. Persuasive as to culpability and persuasive as to breathtaking criminality. Tony Blair's already on his way to Moscow. The government in Pakistan is saying that's the next stop on his list. It's a late push to strengthen and reinforce the alliance. Tony Blair already has the support he wants from politicians at home. The military action that will test that national and international solidarity is coming closer. John Pinar, BBC News, Westminster.